all been taught about the conventional field sets for a pacer, for an off spinner, for a leg spinner and even for a left arm spinner. But what about different situations or scenarios which you actually face in a match? So in this series of videos, I will be drawing up different types of field sets at different situations which you will actually face in a game. So let us move on to the first situation. So here is a scenario 1. So you as your captain have done very well and you already have your opponents under a lot of pressure. Their score is 20 for 4 after 6 overs and your paces are on fire. One bowler who bowls a really good outswing has picked up 2 wickets and the in-swing bowler who is bowling from the other end has also picked up 2 wickets and the ball is swinging crazy. So as a captain, what field can you set differently to these two bowlers so that they can be more effective and you can bundle out your opposition by using the conditions for a very cheap score. Now this is just a pitch layout that I have drawn. So the ones marked in blue, this is the wicket keeper and this will be the bowler and the first field set is for the outswinger bowler who has been bowling really well. So what I will do is I will mark the catching positions with a red marker so that you can understand it better. So definitely for an outswinger I will have a first slip, a second slip for sure and a catching gully. So these will be my catching positions. So now moving on to the other positions. So again I will have a third band at the boundary region between the second slip and the gully fielder a point a little bit backward, a cover fielder. So this comes up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. I will have mid off, I will have a mid on, I will definitely have a deep square leg, might be a little backward because if the bowler tries to get a lot more swing they have the chances of drifting one onto the pad. So there is protection for the bowler at square leg that is covering the fine leg area and also at the third bar region. Here is a suggestive field for an in-swing bowler which can help the captain and the bowler to pick up those extra wickets. So coming to the catching position first, even though it is for an in-swinger, I will definitely have a first slip a little bit close to the wicket keeper because it is for that one that eventually does not move and it can also fetch you the outside edge for the ball that straightens a little bit. So again the next catching position since the ball is moving into the right hander, I will have a silly mid on rather straight so that if the batter tries to play an on drive in the air with the ball moving in, this fielder will come into play very often. And my third catching position with the opponents at 24 4 is that I will have a catching mid wicket. The key is that these two catching positions will be in different angles. This one will be trying to take catches and stop the ball coming from a straight angle and this mid wicket that is the catching mid wicket position will operate in a completely different angle if the batter tries, tries to play a flick with the ball coming in to him or her. So apart from the three catching positions to the right handed batter, I still have six fielders. So first I will definitely have a third man probably at the three fourths part of the ground because if the batter tries to play against the swing, they might get a leading edge and that edge might not carry all over to the boundary line. I will definitely have a point fielder slightly in front of square, a person in the cover region probably able to cover both angles at cover point and extra cover as much as possible. I will definitely have a mid, mid off fielder. So it now leaves me with two fielders. I will definitely have a mid on fielder and then a deep backward square leg because the ball is naturally moving into the right hander. So this is the field position that I will have for my in swing bowler who has already picked up two wickets and the opponent side is four wickets down. So in the next series of videos, you can go in and mention in the comment section or DM me as what type of situation do you want me to help you with field sets.